industry is one of the UK's biggest exports, thanks to stars like Adele selling millions of records worldwide. But a government-backed scheme that encourages banks to help fund the creative sector is said to be failing the music business. Banks see the investment as too much of a gamble, even though the government are guaranteeing 75% on each loan. We're not asking for special treatment here. Uh, we're not demanding that at all. We're just asking for equality. So when government releases a scheme like the Enterprise Finance Guarantee Scheme, which was designed to help small businesses in the UK, regardless of what they did, so far we've only found really one example of anyone in the music industry who managed to actually draw down any of that funding. The government argue that the finance scheme is working. In a statement it said approximately 14% of loans, totalling over £200 million, have been offered to more than 2,000 businesses, covering a wide spectrum of creative sectors, from advertising to music to software. Singer-songwriter Narina Palos released albums with financial backing from a big label and also on her own. She says investment in music is essential, but understands why it's seen as a risky business. If a musician walked into a bank tomorrow with a guitar after a gig and said, Oi, can you give me a hundred grand to start a record company up? No bank manager would do that because it's so, so speculative. She also admits that there are other considerations for the government. If you went to the average person in the street and said, we're going to cut your bin collections, but we're going to give a musician you've never heard of £10,000 to make a record, or we're going to cut social services. You couldn't justify it. Mm -hmm. But by the same token, the music industry is a business, and the money it generates will come back into public coffers. The music industry contributes £5 billion each year to the UK economy, but without the necessary funding, there are fears that it will never reach its full potential. Jane Witherspoon, Sky News.